as we come to this seventh talk of cleansing our rooms yeah today it's about the today, purity of let's heart let's see what saint paul tells us in philippians chapter 4 <clears throat> verse 8 we know this also but let's read in conclusion my brothers and sisters fill your mind with those things that are good and that deserve praise things that are true noble right pure lovely and honorable yes my dear loved ones and this is what saint paul tells us you know fill our minds this is where the battle is so instead of filling with all the negative things and all the you know we've been talking about this all the negative things which is against the holy spirit against the power but the fruits of the holy spirit example you know peace the fruit of peace what's your opposite tension worry anxiety fear i'm sure many of us are still going through that that's wrong and that's why these are things which is going to help us we have to grow to that high level no more getting stuck in that low grade that fifth grade sixth grade no st paul says i can't feed you all with the solid food you all are still milk drinking infants let's not be like that it's time the times are here my dear loved ones when we cannot afford to remain in that basic spiritual spirituality we have to grow and for that st paul says fill our minds with these things that are good that deserve praise things that are true noble right pure lovely and honorable you know for each word i know i give a class but today we're going to take about the lord is leading me let's take that word pure to fill our hearts with that things which are pure why because you and i we want to see jesus you know i always say it's all about your soul my soul all these talks all these retreats everything is basically for what that one day when you and i will be called from this world we want to be in heaven we want to reach heaven eternal life with jesus and for that we see what matthew said matthew says in matthew 5 verse 8 see what jesus says in 58 matthew 58 happy happy are the pure in heart they will see god yes the pure in heart they will see god no one else the pure in heart you may be a double phd doctorate holder in the bible who cares you know you may be going to church in the morning afternoon every time you may be spending 24 hours before the blessed sacrament good but more than that it is the purity of a heart without that you can spend hours days before the blessed sacrament you cannot experience god you cannot that purity of heart is what leads us into that presence of god today my dear loved ones today you know the second song itself i just couldn't carry on i was in the throne of grace and mercy and the lord was showing me that today's session is go- he is going to touch many of us not only who are here believe me this is going to many many people after this recording is going and that is my prayer thank you lord i was saying thank you because at the end of the session we are going through some tough you know tough things examination of conscience which may be a bit hurting don't worry that's needed we need to get that surgery done from a heart but the key is happier the pure in heart they will see god and what does david say in psalm 24 verses 3 to 6 issue who has the right to go up the lord's hill who may enter in his holy temple those who are pure in act and in thought who do not worship idols or make false promises the lord will bless them and save them god will declare them innocent such are the people who come to god who come into the presence of the god of jacob <laughs> my dear lord and we've read this psalm so many times i've read it so many times but you know each time you read it you get something new and this is what he gave me to you know verse who is who is worthy to come into the presence of the lord those who are pure in act and in thought you know we are not taking the act now there's so much to talk about but today we are going to take about the thoughts those who are pure in thought that is the person who can stand in the presence you know all this is fake all the other things you know we say oh i could experience 
the presence of the lord oh i got an electric shock fake i know many people who say all this in the retreats in the prayer meeting and i can see through and through the lord says fake his heart is not pure and he says oh i got this that electric shock <laughs> if you so sorry because not everyone can stand and come into the presence he wants us to be pure in heart in our thoughts and we are talking talking about the thought room those who are pure in act and in thought who do not worship idols that means we should have no idols in our heart or make false promises with our mouth it comes from the heart false promises we're going so much to talk about and then the lord will bless them and save them god will declare them innocent one day when we stand in the presence of the lord when you and i will leave this earth it's all about that it's all about that he is going to say hey he is innocent come into my kingdom you blessed one come it's all about the thoughts to be pure in our thoughts pure in our thoughts you can make may put on all the makeup you can put on all the perfume bekar my dear loved ones it's the thoughts and i love the verse 6 he says such are the people who come to god and who come into the presence of the god of jacob such people no one else you can do a lot of acting all these things and today 90% of us so called sons and daughters of god even the prayer groups it's all fake we come for to be beggars lord i want this i want this i want yeah, i say stop that nonsense stop it that secondary i know we want to be healed i know we want our children to be blessed i know we need it but that the secondary the main thing is the soul the heart the temple of the living god how is it is it pure that only we can experience his blessings that only we can get that wifi connection which i always talk about so important we miss out on all these things and see what 1 john chapter 3 verses 2 and 3 says see what st john says hallelujah hallelujah my dear friends we are now god children but it is not yet clear what we shall become but we know that when christ appears we shall be like him because we shall see him as he really is everyone who has this hope in christ keeps himself pure just as christ is pure <laughs> yeah we know that christ is going to come we know when we meet him we will be like him immortal bodies we know that because we shall really see him the king of kings and the lord of lords but verse 3 that is the key <laughs> that is the key says everyone who has his hope in christ underline word keeps himself or herself pure just as christ is pure without that purity you can keep on dreaming you can keep on hoping and you can keep on preaching but without that purity my dear loved ones you and i cannot ever see him cannot be in his presence let's get that into our heads my dear loved ones you know the world is taking everything so easy so cool no my dear loved ones there cannot be a spot or a speck or a blemish or a wrinkle in that thoughts room we have to be pure in our thoughts thoughts do we ever think about that we come with all the bible knowledge we come to preach and sing and hallelujah stop that nonsense let's get ready to meet him because without purity jesus says blessed happy is that person who's pure in his heart such people will see me no one else no one else let's wake up and see the next scripture i know anyway now pure you know what the meaning is to keep ourselves free from falsehood and hidden motives there's a lot to speak about but i'm just taking one portion what does it mean pure to be pure means number one free from falsehood acting all the hypocrisy all the hidden motives oh yes each one of us no one is perfect we all have those hidden motives the devil will bring those hidden motives into our thoughts falsehood pretense 
we are good you know we are so good in you know pretending right everyone my dear loved ones i've got so much to talk about but since we are cutting short i don't have but the holy spirit is going to lead us check our lives is there anything false in my heart in that thought room anything check our lives is there any hidden motives i know so many preachers including priests who would conduct all these programs with false motives hidden motives <laughs> no wonder we're getting a knock on our heads no wonder the ministries are crumbling no wonder the churches are being closed because there's a lot of hope, falsehood and hidden motives in the all levels of our spirituality no wonder i'm so happy i said thank you lord you're giving us this last minute warning wake up wake up sons and daughters of god let's get rid of that falsehood we pretend all the hidden motives I, you know maybe we'll take this one one day session for this the purity in thought so much i'm just taking a few things there's so much to learn about and my dear lord see what's in paul tells timothy read that brother 1 timothy 1 verse 5 the purpose of this order is to arouse the love that comes from a pure heart a clear conscience and a genuine faith yes my dear lord you know st paul saying the purpose if you read before all this he say the purpose of this order is to arouse the love the real love the love of jesus which comes from a pure heart he wants that pure love not that fake love you know today it's so easy you know you go around in america everywhere oh honey darling everything is honey darling maybe in india we don't say that you know darling even if you say that i you know someone who's you know i know many people you know, i remember years ago when you know i used to come from calcutta my wife was in at that time in kerala so you know before we are in the word of god so i after my trip from calcutta or wherever i come back and you know she says sometimes you know human my wife real remedy says oh see you didn't bring any sari from calcutta bengal handloom sari all our friends you know they go to bombay they go here they bring all the sarees and gifts and all that and say darling this is for you i said maybe that's true but you know what i know those same people whom you're talking about i know those guys they are having an illicit relationship with someone else which i know and they come to the wife and with all these gifts and say darling honey i love you and here's a sari 10 sarees for you fake i said i'm not saying that i'm perfect but i give you the love of jesus the real love here saint paul say to arouse that love that real love that pure love which comes from a pure heart that is what god wants from you and me in these last days the love of many will grow cold jesus says that towards his coming time when he's coming the love of many is growing cold we can see that in our own families it's all a formality you're cooking for your husband wife you know without any happiness wrong you're doing a favor for someone your chick kids or anything you know it's all without that real pure love stop it it's all useless we are just carrying on day to day somehow one day at a time <laughs> we want it to be filled with love with that pure love which comes from a pure heart my dear loved ones let's take 1 peter chapter 1 verse 22 yes my dear loved ones read that now that your obedience to the truth sorry now that your obedience to the truth you have purified yourselves and have come to have a sincere love for your fellow believers love one another earnestly with all your heart <laughs> fellow believers now we are remnant group we have to love each other and all starting from our families then the prayer group then the other ministries wherever we are then the neighborhood we have to love others earnestly with all our heart and he you know st peter says now that by your obedience to the truth you have purified the word of god sanctify us your word is truth yes sanctify them by your truth john 17 17 father sanctify them by your truth your word is truth father the word of god is the one thing that can keep on cleansing us and that's what is st peter saying 
now that by obedience to the truth you have purified yourself and have come to have a sincere love for your fellow believers love one another earnestly with all your heart now i'm just taking explanation no yes brother read that explanation please hallelujah sorry yeah god looks deep into our heart and sees our intention behind every action one can act or pretend to be a holy person on the outside but be evil and wicked in the heart jesus referring to the pharisees said that their actions contradicted their motives and intentions jesus uses the word hypocrite when referring to people who exhibited holiness merely on the outside yes you know how many times he calls the spiritual leaders of that time hypocrites what to you what to you what to you huh. it's so sad many of us are still hypocrites hypocrites i'm not talking of major sins i'm talking of the small speck of sin pure total purity you know you have a gla- a, a glass of milk you put one drop of poison one drop or a bit of poison that whole glass of milk is become useless same thing in our hearts we cannot have we can of cannot afford to have a speck of unholiness of sin a small speck of sin why do you think these saints of ours go to confession twice a week sometimes why because when the holy spirit convicts them of even some you may be a small word of anger to someone or something the pope goes and confesses mother teresa men and confess i've seen her confessing twice in a week i've seen it myself when i was a young teenager and i asked her mother you made your you know i was so open i said mother you confessed last saturday why do you go to confession on wednesday she smiled no i was a naughty guy she smiled she said no i want to make my heart clear i must make myself pure you know she smile she said i am too young to understand all this my dear loved ones not a speck should be there because we cannot afford to be a hypocrite and jesus was dead against he, in one chapter you go to matthew you see what to you scribes hypocrites hypocrites actors because jesus used a word hypocrite when referring to people who exhibited holiness merely on the outside we have to be careful let's not be fake people my dear loved ones you know we are coming for the remnant group i know many people who come go for all the prayers check in the sense now i'm going to come to a small portion of the way we have examination of conscience in this area we'll have a detailed one believe it believe it or not god is going to lead us i have you know in us in a in a healing in our retreats we have this it's amazing when you go to this examination of conscience but i'm taking a small one and please don't feel embarrassed and don't get angry because you know it may you may feel a bit hurt because all of us have committed some sins in this area and now brother charles you're going to lead us into this examination of conscience areas to examine in the small portion of our thought life of our heart number 1 yes brother do i look at people of the opposite sex with lust aha you still there brothers and sisters be careful even in prayer groups you may be next to the pope be careful the enemy will come with a dirty thought looking at people with lust a small lust you may be look holy you may be praying you know i've seen i've i've shared you know so many times priests have come to me for help for prayer and you know what one priest had said some years ago humble priest young priest he said uncle he calls me uncle he said uncle pray for me i said why the <laughs> priest uncle you won't believe how the devil tempts me when i am elevating the host during mass the devil reminds me of certain you know all the dirty lustful thoughts which i had maybe years ago and i feel so guilty i feel so miserable you know we had to be careful my dear loved ones is there any such strong hold in your heart that thought room be careful i'm just rushing through 
Okay, let's take the next one. Am I fixated on the body part of people? Aha! Uh -huh. You know, these are things I take in detail in our retreats. Because, you know, the Holy Spirit has showed me so many ways people can sin. You know, I, 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 I don't know, it's unbelievable. Some people, I know people with whom I dealt with, who are into crazy, you know, perverseness. Nothing else but, you know, when that person looks at the feet, at the shoes of ladies, at the shoes they wear, he gets tempted. Not at the dress or tight dress, and all, but at the basic shoes of ladies, feet, you know, just simple, chapels or whatever. This guy goes into that mode. The devil takes him to a different mode. I don't want to give too much explanation. But fixated on the body parts of people. We are always used, oh, if I see the other person tight dress and all that, I get aroused. My dear loved ones, the devil is so cunning, so perverse that he will make us commit sin. You know, in a retreat, I will teach you all this. Body parts. And the common thing is, of course, when we look at the tight-fitting clothes of ladies, do I get crazy? And especially, you know, in, a, in America, for my youth retreats, I tell them, I openly speak about the way we dress. Are we wearing such tight dresses? which highlights our body parts, God-given body parts. I tell my daughters here, all the girls here. Do you wear the skirt which is above the knee in such a way that someone else, even the priest, when they look at your legs, they get tempted. They have lustful thoughts. I'm being very open. My dear loved ones, that's why we say be careful about the way we dress. Am I fixated on the body parts of people? Why I'm telling this? Because today, at the end of this thing, the Lord is going to remove, He's going to touch many of us, many of us from this, all these things. Okay, let's go to the next one. Hallelujah. Do I mingle with people of the opposite sex with a secret sexual motive? Aha! I know many people in the ministry. I know, including priests. They move around, they have fun. After the prayer meetings, after retreats, I know. I don't want to name it. I've gone through, I've, you know, thank God, I've gone through all this, I've seen. They mingle with people of the opposite sex and today, hello, this, you know, today they also mingle with the people of the same sex. You know that, right? Haha. <laughs> Why? With a secret sexual motive. I know. I know that. Do we? Do we mingle in our prayer groups? You know, you know, we were all there, all of us. Even I was there at one time. But the Lord, through His grace and mercy, opened my eyes. Everything we should have, our friendship with one another in the prayer groups. We have to be very pure and holy. Yes, even the motives should be pure and holy. We have to be so careful, my dear loved ones. This is holiness is not a joke. It's serious. Let's take that. I'm just rushing through. Let's take one more. Yes. Hallelujah. Have I secretly desired or yearned for another person's spouse? <laughs> Many of us, most of us have gone into that thing. Let's, let's be frank. Let's be frank. Because the devil attacks in that area. You know, why hide? I'm very forthright. You know, the Lord has said, preach boldly. Don't get scared. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I was in that Time that time, yes, you'll bring the thoughts. You know, when we have couples retreats, we bring out all these things. You know, I don't want to say everything now. You know, it's so important when you are with your wife also on that holy bed, the devil will bring dirty thoughts of other people and make you commit sin when you are with your wife. That is the devil. I'm being very open, my dear loved ones. Let's be careful. We have to be careful. Have I secretly desired or yearned for another person's spouse? Let's go to the next one. Hallelujah. Yes, brother. Issue eight. Have I sexually fantasized about a person other than my spouse? Yes. These are the strongholds which are still lurking in many of our people. Many of us. Let's come to the Lord, you know, as we complete this. Fantasizing. 
about a person other than my spouse everyone is fallen all have sin but you know st paul says all have sin but you know through the grace and mercy of god we have come out of all that and if there's any stronghold any spot or blemish still lurking in your heart my heart let it come out because we cannot afford to have a spot or wrinkle or blemish or wrinkle in our heart that thoughts room that's my prayer let's come to one more one we just have one more yes brother do i admire any movie or sports personality merely for their physical features aha today you know the devil so smart with all the movies with netflix and all the things with all the facebook and all that you know we see all these movie stars or sports personalities or some figure and the devil so cunning that you know he will make us he will make us go out of the highway of holiness by you know fantasy making us have all those evil thoughts about wow look at that even i know people <clears throat> who are talking about handsome priests i said don't you ever say that don't you say that pray for that priest god has made him a handsome priest but don't you say even that sender don't even come out with that pause no 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 don't use that wow he's so handsome this priest in our parish don't you say that sons and daughters of god you have to come out it's not bad but i think we should come up to that high level you know i've in many of my retreats i said don't you say anything oh father you're looking so handsome <laughs> you're looking so good who cares for that certificate don't say it because when you that one simple comment can make the devil get into that particular priest and that pride can come in can come in we have to make sure that we do not lead others to sin we have to be careful my dear loved ones don't flatter you should have no motive false motive no falsehood no hypocrisy don't have to make those comments no if you know i mean we say wow that is a nice program whatever but try to have that flattery in our hearts that room of ours be careful my dear loved ones you know we have i just want i have a request for you all you know the lord is leading us into worship i can i want you all to give me 10 minutes because we are going to the live adoration this is just a simple thing we've taken and uh, brother charles sister sandra i mean i want you all i'm going to come into the blessed sacrament now this is live my dear loved ones this is live and as we come i'm going to go, go off the screen we all focus on the lord come before the lord the king of kings and the lord of lords we are going to come before him my dear loved ones and we are going to ask him right now maybe 10 minutes but we are going to ask him the king of kings and the lord of lords let's come before him he is alive let's come before him and tell him lord if there's anything still lurking in that thought room any evil lord anything which we heard today any you know when we look at people in the opposite sex with lust when i get excited when i look at a particular part of someone else a body part when i mingle with people of the opposite sex with a secret sexual motive <coughs> all these things i lead you and then pr- brother charles will lead us into prayer sister sandra also will do that okay let's uh, i'm going to let's look at jesus in the blessed sacrament hallelujah eshwe 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 ruha is to sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanks give be every Mighty one, O Lamb of God, O King of Kings and Lord of Lords, present in the Blessed Sacrament, 
Thank you so much for your love for each one of us. Right now we come for the short time with you, my Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your presence in our lives. Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. My dear loved ones, as we come before the awesome presence of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, what we heard today, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And we heard all the scriptures, which I'm sure you're going to go through that. St. Paul and St. Peter tells us, to have that pure love which comes from a pure heart. Because without that, you and I can never, never see our Lord. Yes, my dear loved ones. 1 John chapter 3 verse 3 says, Everyone who has this hope in Christ to see Him when He appears must keep Himself pure just as Christ is pure yes 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 5 St. Paul tells young Timothy the purpose of all this is to arouse the love that comes from a pure heart a clear conscience and a genuine faith and we know how Jesus kept on calling the spiritual leaders in those days Hypocrites. Can I ask my brother Charles to uh, come before the Lord and bring all of us before his presence? And those moments when we looked at people of the opposite sex with lust, when we were tempted, when we watched certain parts of the body, tight dresses or whatever. When we mingle with people of the opposite sex, especially in our ministry, with a secret sexual motive. When we secretly desire or yearn for another person's spouse. When we sexually fantasize about a person other than my partner. When, my, when we admire the people of the world, all these so-called movie actors or sports personalities or maybe our spiritual leaders, handsome people. For all those moments when we took pleasure in our impure thoughts and desires. Yes, my brother, lead us into repentance. Come before the Lord and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, there's no one like you. No one that we can go to, Lord, only you. Lord, Lord let your blood and water flow from your heart, Lord, today. To each and every one of us, Lord. We are sorry, Master. Forgive us, Holy God. If we have wronged you in any way, Lord. Lord, fill our eyes and our minds only with you, Lord. Lord, that, you know, when, when we are tempted, Lord, 
that we will say your name which is above every name Jesus 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 help us and Lord whoever calls on your name Lord you come and he or she is free so today Lord fill us with your living water of righteousness Lord of purity fill us with your living water that our thoughts may be pure Lord Lord you say in your word be holy as my heavenly father is holy it is so hard sometimes to master Lord but with you nothing is impossible you make all things possible Lord. you see the attitude of the heart Lord the heart master Lord let our hearts cling to you today Lord as the Holy Spirit drenches us with your love and with your purity Holy Spirit come and drench your remnant come and drench our loved ones our homes our families with your love with your purity with your kindness with your sincerity come Holy Spirit divine gentleman of the Father come O heart of the Father O fusion of love of the Father and Son come fill us with that same love pleading the precious blood of Jesus on each and every one of us Mother Mary as you were pure and holy and the Father took you up help us Mother Mary help us to be like your son our Lord Jesus Help us, Father Mary. Keep us in your most immaculate heart. Because the Father wants everyone to be saved. No one to be left behind. Behind our head down, Lord, today in humility and in total surrender to you, Master. Take us, use us. Help us to be your pure hands and feet. Not just your hands and feet, but your pure hands and feet of mind and body. Fill us with every shalom and goodness from your holy throne. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Lord. We praise you. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. My dear loved ones, looking at the face of Jesus, looking at Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament right now, let's ask him to change our hearts, to come with a new anointing. Thank you, Lord. Change my heart, O oh Lord, make it ever new. Change my heart, O oh Lord, may I be like you. Help us to be like you, my Lord, to be pure and holy the way you live. Lord, we claim your promise from Ezekiel. Chapter 36, verses 25 to 27. Yes, my Lord, remove those strongholds in our hearts, especially the thoughts room. Have mercy, my Lord. Have mercy. You are the potter. 
the clay Mold me and make me This is what I pray Change my heart, O oh Lord Make it ever new Change my heart, O oh Lord May I be like you Hallelujah, we praise you, Lord We worship you, my Jesus O oh, King of kings and Lord of lords, we bow before you, my Lord, O oh, Lamb of God, present in the blessed sacrament of the altar, my Lord. We thank you for your love for each one of us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, we praise you. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it As was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O oh, sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment time. O oh, sacrament most holy, O oh, sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.